So, you've decided it's time to part company with your car. Maybe it's time for an upgrade, or maybe you just need to free up some funds. Either way, it's fair to say that we all want to achieve the best price possible for our car when selling. So today, I'm going to share with you some tips, tricks and techniques to help you maximise the sale price of your car. Let's go! To help me better explain as we go along, I'm going to be demonstrating the various tips that I talk about on this, a 2009 BMW 325D. This car belongs to my brother-in-law and is in overall good shape, but is certainly a long way from the top of the market. The easiest option with a car like this is to simply part exchange it against your next car, but as we know, if you want to achieve the best price for your car, you need to sell it directly to the new owner. I want to show you guys just how this can be done and demonstrate the sort of increased value you can expect. The trade-in value of this car today is around the £4,000 mark. Well presented comparable cars are currently fetching anything between five and six thousand pounds, so we're potentially looking at being a couple of grand better off by properly preparing, advertising and selling this car. As the title suggests, this first video focuses on how to prepare your car for sale, meaning that we're going to be making it look as good as it can, ready to be advertised. The best way to tackle a job like this is to start with the grubbiest areas first. In the case of this 11 year old Beamer, that means getting to grips with the engine bay. I'll start by removing as much dry dirt as possible. First up, the handfuls of dead leaves that have accumulated in the screen gutter before giving the whole engine bay a vacuum using a soft bristle vac attachment. When the dry vacuuming is done, I wrap the alternator in plastic ahead of getting the engine bay wet. Usually, I'd also protect the battery, but in this car it's located elsewhere so it isn't vulnerable. After a light rinse, I give the whole bay area a coating of APC TFR mix and allow it to dwell for a few seconds before agitating. Now I should say at this point, you likely won't want or need to go into the level of detail that I do with this cleanup, as long as you make it presentable. I'm just a believer in the old adage that if you're going to do something, do it properly. After a final rinse and wipe down, it's time to dress the various plastics and rubber parts. So I'm not saying make everything too shiny and fake looking, but a clean, well presented engine bay is a must when selling a car. It shows that you are not a stranger to keeping things up together and it speaks volumes about the car's life with you. Now if you're thinking this seems like a lot of work just to sell your car, ask yourself, is a day spent preparing your car worth the extra few thousand pounds you'll achieve by selling privately? Unless you're super wealthy, I'd have said yes it is. Moving on to some of the other dirty areas, next I'll tackle the fuel filler. It's important to clean everywhere that a buyer might look. You don't want to be let down by some hidden grime that would have taken two minutes to clean. The fuel filler is a perfect example of this, as it's often overlooked. The best way I can put this is to always try to put yourself in the buyer's shoes. In the same way that we want the best price for a car when we are selling, buyers always want the best car they can get for their money. For this reason, when preparing a car for sale, try to imagine what a buyer might want to see and aim for that. Selling a car these days is a minefield. It's not like the good old days where you'd put a written ad in the local paper and buyers would come and see your car so it could speak for itself. Instead, you're entering into a digital marketplace where buyers have more choice than they know what to do with. Your car has to speak volumes about itself in just a few pictures, as many people won't even bother reading an advert if the pictures don't inspire them. To that end, there are a lot of mind games involved when advertising a car for sale online. Things like dirty door shuts, grubby engine bays and even dull tyres can subconsciously put buyers off. I know this sounds far fetched, but if you want to achieve the best price for your car in a saturated marketplace, the only way to go is to make sure your car stands head and shoulders above the competition. As a demonstration, think back to when you last saw a really dirty car advertised for sale. You know the sort, where the seller hasn't even bothered to clear out the McDonald's wrappers from the footwell. Ask yourself, did you feel inspired to go and see that car? Did that seem like the sort of owner you'd want to take a car over from? 
You see, no matter what you do, a car will tell its own story by the way it's presented. So it's our job to make sure that story is a positive one. So, in the spirit of not having to spend lots of money to make your car saleable, here I want to demonstrate that even wheels that could use a refurb in a perfect world would be made to look a hundred times better just for having a proper clean. Obviously there are tons of specific wheel cleaning products available, but right now I just want to show you what can be done with the basics, some fallout remover and some brushes. With the dirtiest areas now out of the way, it's time for the main clean off. Again, I'm really not trying to show you any crazy detailing skills here, I'm just trying to clean this one off in the most basic way in order to make it look presentable without spending multiple days on it. This is simply a pre-wash rinse, removal of bug squash and shampoo before a final rinse down. Simple. Now that the car is clean, there's one more specific area I want to sort, the exhaust tips. This is a sort of minor detail that's easy to overlook, but when clean, it shows that someone has made the effort to make it look presentable. One more of those subconscious selling points. As with many things, small details make a big difference. Again, in the interest of showing you how to prepare your car for sale without going mad on detailing products, here I'm simply polishing the car once it's been washed and dried. No clay bar, no machine polish, just simple hand polish and buff off. This will help to give the car a suitable level of shine and brightness when it comes to photograph it, something that will again help with that subconscious selling. You've probably noticed that I'm using the same polish on the windows as I am on the paint. You can get special polish just for glass, but really in this situation one size really does fit all. Just don't polish a windscreen. Now that the polishing is done and the car is looking great, it's time for the best bit, tyre shine. Why is tyre shine the best bit? Because everyone knows that shiny tyres attract buyers. With the outside of the car done and buyers already queuing up because of those glossy tyres, it's time to tackle the interior. No major breakthroughs here, just the obvious. Make sure all personal belongings, including dash cams, sat navs, etc., are removed from the car before giving it a good clean out. Here, all I needed to do was remove the mats for a proper clean before hoovering the rest of the carpet. I also cleaned all hard surfaces as well as the leather to remove that sheen that builds up over time. It's important to remember to clean the inside of the windows at this stage too, to remove any distracting marks or fingerprints. You'll notice here that when I'm done with the cleaning of the door cards and the seats, they take on a much cleaner satin effect, making them look as good as new. I simply used a diluted all-purpose cleaner on a microfiber towel to clean and wipe down these surfaces, followed by some leather treatment on the seats to keep them supple. It's also good practice to clean your pedals before getting the camera out. Finally, I like to put a new air freshener in the car, just to help give it that extra boost before anyone comes to see it. So that's it, the prep stage is done and your car is looking good enough to attract a new owner, but in order to do all of your hard work justice, it needs to be properly and effectively photographed. 
Check out the next episode in this mini-series for my guide on how to create beautiful, enticing pictures of your car, as well as a useful, informative description that will have potential buyers waving handfuls of cash at you.